In this video we will talk how to find peaks in a given plot and how to label them. So let's start with the first one. Here in this plot we this is based on a two column data and here the plot is which is having many peaks in it. Now one way we do the labeling of these peaks manually and another way is to do it automatically with the help of origin. So first to do it automatically select the plot and go to analysis and then peaks and baseline and peak analyzer and we go to open dialog. And here as usual it will show us the preview of the plot so let's maximize this one. And here we will go to the option find peaks and let's click this one and go next. And here it says that what is supposed to be the baseline mode. So we will select the baseline mode is constant and which is this red line which is shown here. We click next and here it is saying that subtract the baseline. So we will leave this thing as it is and we go next. And here we are with the auto find of the peaks. So it will analyze the plot and it will find the peaks itself. So click find and we see that it has found the peaks and the peaks are this, this and this. Let finish this one and now we are having all the five peaks here. This is the baseline and now if I go to the data then inside the data I will see that this is the baseline data and this is the peak data. So look here that these are the locations on the x-axis of the peaks and these are their respective intensities. So we are having five peaks as a whole and this is the data of those five peaks. So automatically our origin can find peaks for us. And if I want to edit these peaks, let me remove this one. If I want to edit these peaks, then for example, I want to raise the height of it. So if I select one, then all are selected and all of them are moving up. To select only one peak level from here, I click it once and then click it again after a while, then it will you just show these dots around it and now this one can be individually moved up or down. So to treat one we can do like this while for all we can just click and then all will be selected. Now if I want to change this label and this line is here which is by default of this size select the peaks and then double click them and a menu will appear and here we will have some options to change and if i go to the symbol then this symbol is here and i can see that it is showing me here this is the peak first actually and the symbol for it is this one and the size of it is 15 i can change this size let's say to 30 and I do apply and you see that it has changed all of them to 30. Now they are visible as they are grouped together. If I want to change only one then I will have to unselect all of them and then only this one is selected and I can change for this one only. So for the one we can change, similarly we can change for all of them, we can change their size by selecting them and then with the control shift and greater key we can increase the label size. So we can do a bit of editing with the peaks and this way we can find peaks in an origin file. In order to find peaks in a complex plant for example in FTIR plant where there are so many oscillations 
then it is really very hard to find peaks with the help of auto find for example i select this one and then i go to analysis and then peaks and baseline peak analyzer and open dialog and now i select peaks in this one so find peaks here and next and it will ask for the baseline keep it as constant next and next and now find the peaks and you see that it has found peaks up to 317 peaks so they are almost not readable but if i select the zoom option then i can see that all the peaks have been found accurately so let's finish this one and now if i zoomed some portion of it for example this portion i have zoomed and i can see that it has found peaks to almost all the peaks over there and here they are so for such a portion we will have to zoom that one and then find peaks or find peaks plus and then zoom the portion of our interest and it will find all the peaks and level them automatically but most of the time we don't need uh, for FTIR such kind of peaks we are having a situation and the situation is uh, like this one that we will have to find peaks and the peaks are less not that much so automatic peak finding will find all the peaks which will be the result of the oscillations as well so one way is we smooth the data and we find peaks because in FTIR we are not interested in the peaks here they are here but we are interested only for example in this peak and this peak and this absorption and so on to do such kind of leveling it is very easy to use this tool which we call the annotation so click on the annotation and now zoom this figure a bit more so let me zoomed it a bit more and then go on with the annotation tool now here if for example i am interested in this peak that what's the location of this peak i will click here once and then when it is on the right location i can double click so with double clicking it will annotate me the x and the y values later on i can change them so here means here i just place the cursor and i click and once it is click i double click then it will show me the next value similarly i'm interested in this peak so i will just click here let me click at the right location and then double click so it will paste the value similarly here when it's the right location double click here and similarly i find this peak as well and double click now i have found almost all the peaks here and the one that i want to find for this one as well here and i double click and it has given me the value here now i can do some adjustment to them the very first thing i want to keep only the x value and not the y value so starting from here double click here and i see that in the legend it is having the dollar symbol and then the x so i will have to remove the y and then this bracket as well so now the value is only this one and i say okay similarly this one i can do the same for all of them
now is all the peaks are done so if i want to move this peak a bit down then i will have to select this one and with the help of the arrows key i will have to move it down and you see that it is changing it is changing the size of this bar here automatically similarly this one and now our peaks are being leveled we can even change or write something with this one for example i just want to say that over here this is actually the bond between carbon and oxygen and i say okay so it has shown us here that this is actually the peak is here and this is the bond between this one so i can annotate it as i like i can change the size of this by selecting this one and then control shift and the greater key i can increase the size i can even change this level as well as i did earlier double click this one and now its width is for example 0.5 so i can change this to 5 for example and now it is here so it's very big and let me change it to just two here and change the color of it in order to change it from the actual plot so we can do such annotations to the peaks and this way we can label our peaks very easily as compared to the automatic findings thank you for watching